Right. Right, now I'm going to show you how to tell a good show buff Orpington. Unfortunately, Buffy's a bit fidgety at the moment. So, right. The best way to tell is if one has their face. Their face should be nice and red, like hers. Unfortunately, if you look closely, she's managed to pull one of her spines off her, or spines off her cone, which is going to mark her down. But, and then they should have a fluffy underneath which she's definitely got. They shouldn't have much variation from their golden colours. If they have too many white feathers, it will, they'll mark them down again. Their tail must be quite bushy. And unfortunately, she's not very good, but they're meant to stand with their tail quite high in the air. She's basically a bantam size. She's not quite fully sized buff Orpington. So they should be a bit bigger than her. She's seven pounds. They should be about eight or nine pounds at least to be a full buff Orpington and also they should be able to uh, well they should be quite friendly in general which I'm pretty sure Buffy is so she's a very good show bird but unfortunately it involves having to give her a bath to be able to show her and the other thing is if you check their wings just to make if you ever want to show them always check their wings before so Right, she's just going to stand on my leg like that now. If you look at her wings, she hasn't got any missing there. And uh, on the other side, I'll just check. And no, there's no no feathers missing there either. So no, we're all right. And also, they should be looking very well. And unfortunately, she's got this nasty, dirty patch. Which it's not poo, and I don't know what it is. I think she's been sitting under a drip in the shed for some reason. Right. Now. That's the only other thing that's a problem. If you look on her beak, see that brown mark there? That brown mark shouldn't be there. The buffle pintons should be like their legs as well. Her legs should be just that colour. Just white. And her beak should be just white and not with that mark, so we'll get down marked for that as well. But unfortunately we're going to get down marked anyway because she's £7 and to be called a uh, bantam you have to be 3 or £4 and so she's qualified as a fully grown buff orpington and a fully grown buff orpington is about the size of cocky and not the size of her. And finally the thing you should have a look at is just make sure she doesn't have any mites because if the judges find mites in her they'll get quite angry because they're, they're fed up with looking at her. And if you look in there, no, there's none. So yeah, and Buffy's quite good, but she's not really got. It's only you've got three weeks till the show, so uh, you've got long enough. And we're also taking Scarlet, but Scarlet's well, the late. We're pretty sure that Scarlet's a hybrid, so Buffy's the only proper purebred. And I've got. Yes, you are. And you know, it. there you can just see a comb. See, she's missing that one there. And I can, I know exactly who to blame that on, and that's the cockle. Because she suddenly got in with the cockle, and he's ripped off her comb and some of her feathers on the back of her neck. So he's going to cop her one day. So, yeah.